Well, let's certainly turn around. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Pat Kernan, and I am the Weekenders Music Critic. I'm Tony Pinello. And uh, we're back at you with another episode of New Music Monday. Uh, this with week... a little bit of not-so-new music. Right. So uh, this week we'll be talking about uh, two new records that came out, and uh, Tony will be bringing us one record that came out in this month and in some point year. in this past. Yes, yeah. in this past. This past as opposed to some other past. Well, there's an infinite number of uh, Right, okay, so here we go. <laughs> so we're going to start off, um, uh, the, the two new records that we're talking about this week are both... Uh, both new hip hop records. So I'm going to start off with the one that I liked better, but the one that Tony liked less. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the new one from Travis Scott, which is called Astro World. Um, Travis Scott's been doing stuff for a little while. This is his third full length solo project, I want to say. Because okay. he, he also did a team up album with Quavo from Amigos okay. last year, or it might have been earlier this year, I can't remember. But, uh, this is his third full length just on his own. And he's always, he, he has a really idiosyncratic sound, you know, like yeah. it's, he's super Weird. woozy and dreamy and it just like, it always feels like really sort of drugged out, I guess. Yeah. Like he and ASAP Rocky both do that sort of stuff, uh, at least to me, it seems like. Um, but this new record of his is super off the wall. Uh, yeah, because super yeah, it, it's really weird. Like even by his own standards, because he has like all sorts of um, different features on it. Yeah. Like, sure, there's Drake and Kid Cudi, but there's also Stevie Wonder. Yeah. And like, that's just really Straight strange. Up. But um, I just really like the mood of this record. Um, it just. I was feeling the mood. Yeah, feeling yeah, yeah. Mood. And it, I, I like it a lot because I feel like it's his most. Um, cohesive record okay. to date. Uh, his first one, Rodeo, was, there are a lot of good songs on it, but then once you get past the good songs, it's like, nah. Yeah. yeah. And then his second one, uh, Birds in the Trap Sing McKnight, nah. <laughs> that, it, like the whole thing was just <laughs> meh. Um, and then the album that he did with Quavo, which was Huncho Jack, Jack Huncho. I don't know. Uh, that one was just bad. Like, Stem to Stern, just super generic trap music that it felt like they just made in, like, 15 minutes. But this one, uh, Astroworld, it, it feels like the album that I always knew that Travis Scott could make, okay. and he just hadn't yet. So that's just what I really enjoy, because uh, I've always enjoyed the mood that goes into his projects, but I, I never really felt like it, the artistry was totally there. But I, I feel like he has it this time. Well, what do you think about it? For me, personally, not um, having heard any Travis Scott in the past, I had nothing to compare it to. Right. Um, so this was just like Tabula Rasa. This is my first Travis Scott Tabula experience. Tabula Rasa. Tabula Rasa. <laughs> Tabula Scottsa. That one the was the more we add to it, um, the, the further it gets. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. Uh, first experience oh, yeah, with Travis this is Scott. Tabula Rasa. <laughs> yes. Um, and I did not... Okay, so it was like equal parts. Yeah, all right, okay. Yeah. And yeah, yeah I, I, for me, I get that. Like, I would not sit down and listen to this. Like, right. maybe I would put it on in the background, but probably yeah. not. It's just kind of like. Was, eh. right. So I think if you're into trap music for the sake of things being trap music, right? I think it's sick, but. I'm not into trap music for the sake of it being trap music. I like trap music when I like it. Right. But I don't know. That's how I feel about it. It was it felt yeah, generic to me. I get that. Yeah. I, I definitely see what you're saying mm -hmm. with that. Um, but next up we have the new one from YG. Uh, a different sort of, of hip hop sound. Yeah. Like he doesn't the world's different. He, <laughs> yeah. He doesn't he's not really a trap artist. No. He does that like hardcore 90s West Coast gangsta rap sound. And I was telling like, Pat earlier that that's been what I've only been listening to for the past like week. Yeah. So it was it was refreshing. I heard a gunshot in the a gunshot sample in the beat of the first track. I was like, yes, this is the, this yes. is good. <laughs> so this is his third record. It's called Stay Dangerous, and um, I didn't like it as much as the Travis Scott one. And I think it's uh, like we were saying before. 
uh, this we started filming this. Since I have a history with both Travis Scott and YG, yeah. like not a personal history, obviously. Like, they don't <laughs> know YG, me. But, we go way back. Oh yeah, we're tight. Um, but like, <laughs> uh, since I've listened to both of their stuff, like that Travis Scott record, I felt like it was his best. Okay. And this YG record, I feel like he's just sort of phoning it in. Okay. Um, so what you're saying is I should listen to earlier yeah, YG because I really did like this. Yeah, if you like this one, you will love his past stuff. You know, because he came off of that wave that, like, Kendrick sort of started of, like, revitalizing yeah, West Side the, in the 90s yeah. West Coast sound. And he, his first two records were just both incredible because he, he just he goes hard, he's super lyrical, and, like, he, he's able to say smart things. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. And he was like, able to make a stand. Yeah, but this new one just isn't as smart as oh, the okay. other ones. Well, I guess I should listen to the old ones. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, uh, do you remember that single that went around a while ago, uh, FDT? Probably not. Uh, I'm not going to say what it stands for, but I'll give you a hint because the DT is Donald Trump and it's a protest song. Oh, um, well, that's easy. Right, so he, he, he is capable of making those sort of, like, political, political statements. Of, yeah. But I feel like this one, it was more... Juvenile, like I think he just wanted to talk about how much he likes women and whatnot. Yeah, lots of sex. Lots of sex, and not as much as the Travis Scott record, though. That one was kind of gross sometimes, so it's yeah. a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm kind of a, a prude. Yeah, no, Tra Travis Scott, but like that's part for the course for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's so... like this is trap music you expect. Right, but... exactly. But I was just like, oh man, YG, like you can do better than I love this. The, the good old drugs and violence. Exactly. You know? Right, right. So um, this one sort of disappointed me. But I won't say that I didn't have fun listening to it. Like, it's good sort of just, like, bump it while you're driving around sort of music. Yeah. You know, it's it's not, you're not going to want to sit and, like, think about it. Yeah, and, I like, was definitely it while I was deconstruct driving. It, but I was like, I suddenly my seat was back. And, like, yeah. It was crazy. I don't know how it happened. Yeah, you just have some gin and juice. Yeah, and, like, oh, I'm driving. I shouldn't <laughs> have this. Yeah, yeah and, and that's exactly what it sounds like. You know, it's, it's just doggy style, but now. Yeah. So, uh, it was good. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say something. Oh, um, you know beef. You know the beef stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do know beef. Yes. You know. You know. You're you're in on it though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're part of the beef in some cases. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> um, but um, I felt I felt like he was talking about um, being a blood. Yeah. And talking about fake bloods. Was that directed at Soldier Boy? So I really hope it was directed at Soldier Boy. Uh, it could have been directed at so many people. I know, like, it, but it could I be particularly Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. It, it also easily me. <laughs> the one that I'm thinking right now is I assume that line was directed at Six Nine. Oh. Um, because a lot of people have criticized or have said that Six Nine is a fake blood. I don't know. I didn't look up to see who that line was particularly directed That's at. So lame. But yeah, yeah, Six Nine is the worst. Yeah, but he's the worst for a lot of reasons. He's, he's but also creepy Soldier and he's Boy. bad at music. Well, Soldier Boy is just... Soldier Boy is Soldier Boy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so... <laughs> well, we went off course there. Yeah, so you have a, a record for not oh, so yeah, new music. Oh, yeah, I forgot we were going to talk record. about something yeah. else. I was just going off. Um, yeah, so the Bronx. I just spilled water on myself. I just spilled water on myself, and we're going <laughs> to leave that in. I think this is the worst video we've ever made. Um, so, speaking of West Side... The Bronx are not from the Bronx. Where are they from? I'm pretty sure they're from California. Okay. But I might be wrong about that now that I think about it. Um, their record, The Bronx. One. One. There are several. They because, are numbered. Yeah, they did like the Led Zeppelin thing. Yeah. Or like the Weezer The Bronx thing. One. The Bronx Two. The Bronx Three. Yeah. Um, but this is The Bronx. And... And when did it originally come out? 2003. August 26, 2003. Um, I really like it. It has like all of the cheesy early 2000s hardcore stuff that I have come to love yeah. um, while also holding on to like kind of that genuine feeling yeah, yeah and it's, yeah. it's fun that's like that's my favorite thing about it is that it's so fun and it has that like it has like a sorry that's hard um, it has like a fun like pop punk kind of vibe to it right. at times well, like good pop punk and yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's like fun and it's genuine and it's like a little cheesy and I love it 
Right. See, uh, <laughs> now, when I was listening to it, I didn't get that cheese. Okay, you know, maybe like, when I say cheesy, I mean accessible. Right, because, like, when I, when I hear you say cheese, I it think sounds of, bad. like... I don't like mean it as a bad the thing. The whininess of bands uh -huh. like Modern Baseball. That is whatever. not what I'm talking no, about. No, no, no. And uh, that's what I really liked about this Bronx record, because it's just like... I don't know, it, it feels like it comes from the heart. Exactly. In the yeah. way that, like... Hardcore should? should like the way it did no, in the eighties with like minor threat and whatnot. Yeah, you know? but it blends in that like the fun thing. Right. And, like, if you like like turnstile. Yeah. Things like that, like fun hardcore. This is like pretty much the predecessor. Right. So definitely. All right. Well, I think that just about does it for uh, this week's installment. We didn't even talk about Mariachi El Bronx. Oh well, okay. Bring that up. Okay, so <laughs> the Bronx also has. A thing where they play mariachi you and know, it's real I swear to god it's real and I don't remember it's it's, real. it is I will show it to you when we get off camera google it I went Look to it listen up. to it mariachi it's, El Bronx. it's not on spotify it's so. on the internet um, I think what happened at the lore um, from what I understand is that one day one day they were uh, they did like an acoustic track on a, a compilation or something yeah. and they were like hmm, we're just gonna do it mariachi and they did and they were like we're really good at this so then they just <laughs> kept doing mariachi music and uh, honestly they are really good at doing mariachi music I don't know a lot about mariachi but but it sounds it's good and for the record they are most of them are not white if that oh, okay. Makes anybody I was, I was feel better say, about that. Like, They're not know, all white dudes who are just like, let's do some mariachi. It's like they, you know. Yeah, because I was going to say, you know, like cultural appropriation. <laughs> yeah, it totally and would be. No, but that's but cool. I feel like it's cool. If it's not, let us know down in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> when uh, you watch this, which you also will. Great. All right, so now that does it for this week's episode of New Music Monday. Uh, we will be back again next week. But I won't be here because I'm going on vacation, so you're going to have to figure out how to deal with that. Oh, God. Um, well, thanks for telling me. Well, I just remembered right now. <laughs> so, um, tune in next week. Leave comments below uh, to make Tony listen to music that she doesn't want to listen to. Please tell me what to listen to. <laughs> Great. All right, so we will see you again next week.